Hello everyone and welcome to class of instance. As in our previous classes we were discussing about how we can use an instance. So let's start with how we can securely use an instance. So we require to address an instance. That means we require to give name in the description tag of the console or via CLI or API. That means we need to define have public IP, elastic IP, initial access, virtual firewall protection. We have here for security we have DNS. DNS name is automatically generated and it can't be specified by customer. Public IP. Public IP persists only when it is running. Elastic IP reserve independently and associate with EC2 instance. That means public IP will persist only when the instance is running whereas elastic IP will be reserved independently and it will associate it with EC2 instance. IP address resist till customer releases it. That means until and unless if we the customer and we release it, it will resist only when we will release it public key that means for initial access ec2 uses public key cryptography that means keys together form a key pair so we have two keys public key to encrypt and associated private key to decrypt so in public key cryptography we have two keys public key and private key where public key is used, public key is used to encrypt and associated private key to decrypt. AWS stores the public key and private key is kept by the customer. That means we have two keys, public and private. Public key to encrypt which is stored by AWS and private key to decrypt which is stored by customer. So it is having public key cryptography and these two combination of public key and private key it forms a key pair we have virtual firewall protection it allows you to control traffic which is totally based on port protocol source and destination that means to securely use an instance first of all we require to address an instance we require public ip elastic ip for initial access public private key or public key cryptography require virtual firewall protection also now let's discuss about amazon machine image ami it defines basically it defines initial software that will be on an instance when it is launched ami defines every aspect of software state at instance launch including what is the operating system and its configuration, initial state of any patches, application or system software. One can select an AMI provided by AWS or other user community or AWS marketplace. So we can select our own AMI. We have various sources of AMIs that we will discuss. So basically it is a template that contains software configurations which are required to launch an instance. Like all virtual appliances, the main component of AMI is read-only file system image. That means that includes an operating system, Linux, Unix or Windows or any additional software which are required to deliver a service. So what are the sources of AMI? So we have four sources of AMI published by AWS, AWS Marketplace, generated from existing instances or uploaded virtual servers. Now let's discuss about published by AWS. It publishes AMIs with various versions of different operating system like Linux, Windows, etc. AWS Marketplace. It is basically an online store. We can find, we can buy and start using software and services. No need to install software license agreement here again and again. So this is the benefit of AWS Marketplace. That means no need to install the software. License agreement is appropriate for the cloud. 
Now we have generated from existing instances. AMI can be created from existing Amazon EC2 instance. Instance is configuration to meet all customer standards for updates, management, security, etc. So these a generated one is configured so that it can meet all customer standards. Next we have uploaded virtual server. This is virtual machine import and export. We can create images from various virtualization formats, raw, VHD, VMDK, OVA, etc. So these are the sources of Amazon machine images, which defines the initial software that will be on an instance when it is launched. This is about AMI. Thank you so much.